With Russia bearing down on the Ukraine and World War III ready to end the world, it's time we talk about how to defeat the other major world power, Russia. Russia is, well, big, but also tiny. How does that work? Well, Russia's land mass is huge, but its population is tiny, being ranked number nine in the world, with nearly all of it concentrated in its western portion. So, we really only need to conquer that small portion of the nation. So, focusing our forces on the western half, we can outnumber the smaller Russian army with the combined NATO army. Here, all we need to engage is in some good old-fashioned trench warfare. Hey, we're already doing that! And slowly, Russia will be defeated as a much larger combined NATO force can slowly take out Russia in a war of attrition. Additionally, we can make this much quicker by blocking Russia's limited trade routes. By looking at Russia, we can see that it lacks many ports. These ports are the most important resource for modern trade, with its biggest warm water ports being easily blocked. By blocking off Constantinople, I mean Istanbul, we can block off any trade routes there. Additionally, blocking the Baltic Strait, we can cut off most of Russia's trade. Soon, Russia will begin to run out of supplies. But Russia still has one lifeline, the Winter Road. This transportation network would be the lifeline of the Russian military as they run low on supplies. The road would connect Russia with its other major ally, China. So in order to win any war of attrition with Russia, it is of the utmost important to cut this lifeline. To do this, you could send several groups of highly trained soldiers to disrupt any part of the 1,000 mile road to cut off or at least slow the movement of supplies as the Russian military would be unable to defend all of the road. Russia, cut off from the rest of the world, will begin to collapse as a much larger NATO force will beat the ill-supplied Russian army.